Welcome to the Born on This Day channel, where we delve into the lives of extraordinary individuals born on this day. Today, we honor Nelson Mandela's extraordinary legacy as a towering figure in the areas of peace, freedom, and justice who rose from a small town in South Africa to become a global icon. Nelson Rolilila Mandela was born on July 18, 1918, in Viso, South Africa, and belonged to the Themba royal family. His early life was firmly anchored in his African ancestry, which paved the way for his future leadership. Nelson Mandela began his study at the University of Fort Hare, which was the only Western-style college for black South Africans at the time. Despite being ejected for demonstrating, Mandela's persistence drove him to earn his legal degree at the University of South Africa, which prepared him to oppose apartheid. Nelson Mandela's political awakening began in Johannesburg, where he worked as a law clerk while studying. In 1944, he joined the African National Congress and co-founded the Youth League, advocating for a radical approach to ending apartheid. In 1952, Nelson Mandela was instrumental in organizing the Defiance Campaign, a large protest against apartheid legislation. This campaign included civil disobedience, in which participants purposefully broke unfair laws. Nelson Mandela's leadership in this movement resulted in his first detention, which marked the start of a lifelong struggle against racial segregation and injustice. In 1956, Nelson Mandela and 155 other campaigners were imprisoned and charged with treason. The trial, which lasted until 1961, was a pivotal moment in the fight against apartheid. Although all defendants were eventually convicted, the trial cemented Nelson Mandela's reputation as a steady and daring leader who was unafraid to fight for justice. In 1961, Nelson Mandela co-founded Umkanto We Sizwi, which translates to Spear of the Nation, the ANC's armed wing. This signaled a strategic move toward military struggle against apartheid. Nelson Mandela believed that non-violent protest was insufficient to affect change and he advocated for sabotage to destabilize the oppressive system and press for political transformation. Nelson Mandela was captured in 1962 and later sentenced to life in prison for sabotage. He spent 18 of his 27 years on Robben Island, enduring severe conditions and physical work. Despite these challenges, Mandela remained a symbol of resistance and hope, inspiring millions around the world. Nelson Mandela's imprisonment provoked international indignation, resulting in a global anti-apartheid movement. The United Nations imposed a weapons embargo on South Africa, and many countries imposed economic penalties. The worldwide community's backing was critical in putting pressure on the South African government to end apartheid and release Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela's release from jail on February 11, 1990, was a watershed moment in the fight against apartheid, ushering in a new chapter in South African history brimming with hope and the promise of equality despite years of international pressure and internal instability. Following his release, Nelson Mandela spearheaded critical negotiations with President F. W. de Klerk to end apartheid peacefully. These efforts culminated in the first multiracial elections in 1994, when Nelson Mandela was elected South Africa's first black president. His leadership during this time was distinguished by a dedication to reconciliation and nation-building. Nelson Mandela spent his presidency working to bring a severely divided country together. He formed the Truth and Reconciliation Commission to address apartheid-era human rights abuses. Nelson Mandela also developed initiatives to reduce economic inequality and promote social justice, creating the groundwork for a more fair South African society. Nelson Mandela's influence spread far beyond South Africa. He received more than 250 prizes, including the Nobel Peace Prize in 1993. Nelson Mandela's life and achievements continue to inspire people around the world, embodying the strength of perseverance, forgiveness, and unflinching commitment to human rights and equality. Nelson Mandela, who spent one term as president, retired in 1999 but maintained his humanitarian efforts. He formed the Nelson Mandela Foundation, which promotes social justice, peace, and human rights. Sadly, Mandela died at 95, leaving a lasting legacy. Nelson Mandela, renowned for his profound ideas and philosophy, reportedly said, I learned that courage was not the absence of fear but the triumph over it. The brave guy is not one who is not scared, but one who overcomes his fear. These statements represent Nelson Mandela's profound insight and comprehension of the human soul. Thank you for joining us in honoring this exceptional leader. 
Nelson Mandela's life exemplifies the power of perseverance, compassion, and a steadfast commitment to justice, and his legacy continues to inspire millions across the world. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to pay tribute to other remarkable people born on this day in history.